We Elmar Van Kell, Mishka De Kual Joe, Thomas De Valk, and Vincent Van Rie are doing our presentation about several theories on the creation of the moon. I am hired to say this. In the 19th century, son of Charles Darwin, George came up with a theory for the formation of the moon. It's called the fish on theory. It says that the moon was formed by the rapid spinning earth. The earth would have, with its rapid spin, spin off the moon from the earth's molten surface. He calculated that the tidal forces the sun applied to the earth could have formed the moon. This theory seemed wild and far-fetched. The earth could not have spun so fast to eject a moon-like object into space, not even with the help of the sun's force. The theory was discontinued. In the 1980s, studies suggest that the moon may have been formed by dispersed material forming a ring just like Saturn. The material would have accumulated and formed the moon. This was possible under a lower angular momentum. The theory does not explain why the Earth would have gotten the initial high speeding speed in the first place. The second theory is that the moon and the Earth were created the same. This would explain the similar composition between the Earth and the Moon. However, this would not explain the difference in density. The Moon is less dense than the Earth, thus their cores are different. It would also not explain the movement of the Moon around the Earth. It is way more likely that the Moon would have become part of the Earth instead of orbiting it. There is a fundamental connection between our studies of the origin of the Moon and the physical samples that were brought back by the Apollo mission, the actual rocks from the moon. When those rocks were first studied, we learned several uh, very significant things. One, we learned that compositionally, those rocks are extraordinarily similar to the upper layers of the Earth. If you look at an element like oxygen, its distribution of different isotopes of oxygen is essentially identical in the Moon and the Earth, whereas it's very different in meteorites from Mars or the asteroid belt. The third theory suggests that the Moon was formed after multiple small collisions. Science have shown that the Moon is very similar to Earth if you look at what they're made up of. If the Earth was hit by multiple objects ranging from moon-sized rocks, about a hundred the mass of Earth, to small planets a tenth the mass of Earth, this is more likely to happen because all the materials which were scattered into orbit would average out, leaving the Moon's makeup very similar to that of Earth's. To test this theory's simulations, 800 impacts were used. This theory compared to a single impact theory with a planet does not require very specific angles, velocities, and size of the impacts. If you will run the simulation for a long time, giving all the moonlets time to merge together, the result would probably be something which is near what we have now. Each time one hit, it would kick up a cloud of debris that would settle into a ring of dust around our forming planet. Eventually, the orbiting dust would coalesce and a little ball of moon chunk would move away from our planet over the course of centuries. Then another planetoid would hit the Earth and the whole process would repeat itself. The moon bits would interact in space, sometimes causing them to be ejected or collide with Earth again, and occasionally they'd come together and form something greater, like an orbiting moon fragment megazord. The last and most accepted theory is that the moon was formed after a collision between a planet and the ancient Earth, Theia and Gaia. This collision ejected a lot of material into orbit, of which the moon was created. This happened 4.5 billion years ago. According to research conducted by the University of California, Theia was a Mars-sized planet with a diameter of around 6,000 kilometers. Another research by UCLA was made that concluded that the collision was a head-on collision. This was strange because it was previously thought that the two planets collided sideways. This seemed logical because the strange tilt of the Earth could thus be explained. A wilder theory explains that Theia may have brought life onto this planet. It may be that Theia had life on its surface and transferred it to Earth when the collision happened. The Moon and the Earth have vastly different compositions. This is strange because if they were to come from the same collision, it would be logical that they considered out of the same material. The Moon is much lighter than the Earth. This was our presentation. We hope you enjoyed it. Skevenigen. <laughs>